From OurSacredCircles.com and just from life in general. <laughs> yeah. We want to say a big massive thank you for coming along to watch this video. Yeah. We're actually doing this off the cuff, you know, and we're going to be talking <laughs> about truth. Dot, 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 truth. Dot, 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 truth. And what truth means to us and, you know, what truth means in general. So, um, would you like to start? Sure. Um... So for me personally, the past few days, even bringing up the thought of um, doing a video and speaking about a subject like this, it's caused me a bit of anxiety. It's caused me a bit of um, emotional release and emotional reaction. And I feel like that's something we want to bring to the forefront of life, which is the expression of truth itself can cause emotions from all ends of the spectrum, you know? Real duality comes about when you express your truth. Um, and for me personally, it's that um, not being scared anymore, not having to suppress my voice, not being ru ruled by the story of, oh, you know, once in a previous life or for ancest ancestry, it was the voice of suppression that was guiding a lot of the trauma in the feminine. Um, it's breaking free of that, you know, and just sitting here in front of you all humbly saying It does make me a bit anxious to share my truth and to share the journey I've been on um, To balance that line between humility and ego and just express our journey uh, Express our love, express my deep true love for humanity, for serving um, Yeah, expressing the way I want to even be seen on camera, you know, mm. dropping all the conditioning, dropping all of the um, barriers and um, being me and constantly understanding that being me is changing, you know, um, and I'm willing and ready to really just show myself truly and authentically to the world as I am now, you know, not a perfected version, understanding I am who I am, I'm loving my fears, I'm loving the things that are going on for me, honouring the dark, honouring the light, choosing the pathway of light. Mm. Yeah, um, and remembering to breathe, it's been a real big reminder for me. And Luke often says that, you know, you're only seven breaths away ever, or a breath away from balance, mm. presence. That's really helped me on my journey and that's something I really wish to share, you know. Mm. Breathe, um, truth is important, all of these things are important. Breath is really important. Mm. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Awesome. Um, yeah, and so I guess I, I, I would want to go into some things about truth as well. You know, I, I, I recently read in a, in a book called The Nine Faces of Christ that yeah. there is no religion higher than truth. And um, for me, this just rang, you know, so deeply inside of me, like no religion higher than truth. I, I've always valued truth as um, like my number one value, so to speak, you know, like the thing that I find the most important, you know. Um, and it's easy to look at truth as, you know, the absence of lies or telling the truth or, you know, um, how your interactions with other people being honest in that, in that sense. Um, but there's also the sense of self-truth, you know. It's like if I put a suit and tie on and go work in an office that I have no resonance with every single day, um, just so I can pay my bills or whatever it might, might be, then I'm being dishonest with myself because that's not my path and that's not the path that I want to be living. Um, so, or the path that I'm aligned with, you know. So the truth is, there's the um, internal truth, you know, for myself. And then there's being honest with the world outside of me. Um, but I, I, find, I, I think that truth is uh, definitely like a, a, a process of self-inquiry, you know, it's like, I, I see truth as liberation, you know, if you're absolutely 100% true uh, and in alignment with your truth, then you've completely and utterly liberated yourself from suffering. If you don't listen to uh, the 
you know, the, the friend who's saying, oh, you shouldn't do that, or the parent that's saying you shouldn't do that, or the sibling or whatever, you know, that's saying, oh, maybe you're, you're, you're not going in the right direction, you know, when you feel like a, a true calling to go and do something, then you're living without, outside of the expectation of any other person, and that is true, true liberation. So, you know, when they t talk in, you know, like, uh, about enlightenment or whatever you might might want to call it you know for me that is truth it's living completely in line with the truth and um, I think that there I, I come back to self-inquiry like the process of self-inquiry and in the process of self-inquiry I feel like there is subjective truth and there is objective truth and the subjective truths are like I like music you know I think music's great but that's not necessarily a universal truth that everyone is going to agree with. Most people like music, but you know, um, that's the but that's my perspective, you know. And then there's the um, objective truths, and for me, like that's it's almost like you meditate upon the objective truths and the subjective truths come up as well, you know. And an objective truth, an example of this is like we live in a dualistic world, you know, like there's hot, there's cold, you know, there's light, there's dark, there's yin, there's yang. And these are objective truths and uh, like another example of this is numbers you know like one is one two is two three is three you know in the simplest forms i mean you can break it down and get gravity yeah gravity <laughs> is another example or energy you know like these are like the and you know that the more you meditate upon these things you can find truth in the existence of it every day and we can find our subjective truths and the objective truths are the things that we're governed by and we live by but the subjective truths are our truth you know that we follow and that we love that we step into you know and it's like you know i um i like to like share videos for example you know i like i work in uh, self-development do coaching work and that kind of stuff you know and that's my subjective truth of how i like to serve you know so um to me that's a, a beautiful expression of truth, you know, but that's not going to be someone else's truth, you know, and so it's like this, uh, this line between the objective and the subjective, you know, so, but which I find a, a very, very beautiful process, so. I'd like to add to that too, yeah. which is um, the process of surrendering is a big, big part, a big, big part of my life and our lives, mm -hmm. and surrendering to the things that we think are truth, you know, the conditioned mm -hmm. truth around us, like uncertain medicines or just through certain samadhi and meditation mm -hmm. you know you experience a state of energetic being mm -hmm. but gravity doesn't exist where mm -hmm. other dimensions become your reality and it's mm -hmm. also this always continuously emptying your cup yeah. of knowledge just okay i don't know anything at all mm -hmm. may new truth be filled up in here and it's this process it's, isn't it it's great because it's like them su subjective truths like gravity numbers and everything they also have the paradox of like the cosmic joke like gravity yeah it's a law here but you know is it a fixed law you know could, <laughs> could you, like when you're in meditation does gravity exist when you're having a transcendental experience does gravity exist <laughs> and it's the same with numbers it's like okay one thing is one thing two things is two things but what about when you start breaking up into fractions you know like 1.5s and 1.3s you know it's like is it such a fixed thing you know and it's like everything has i, I feel like with every objective truth there's a paradox you know like it's like we live in a dualistic world for example but then when you look at hot and cold that is singular <laughs> so it's both it's singular it's dual and it's like a, everything it comes with these uh strange paradoxical um things and I, I feel like the more you strip back on truth the more it's just like you have to gain some kind of sense of humor around it because it's uh the self-inquiry is 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 that process you know of, uh, of, of, of stripping back the layers so so um Thank you for coming along to watch this video. I wanted to share a little bit about why we're doing this. Uh, me and Bavanya are creating um, a free course that's coming up on the 20th of March next month, um, at OurSacredCircles.com, and it's basically about helping people to find their life purpose, you know, how to tune into love, truth, and compassion. And um, we invite you to come to OurSacredCircles.com, and you can enter your name and email address there and you can uh, sign up for our free course and you also receive a copy of a free ebook that i created called letting go and um you can you can check that out for now but on the 20th you'll also get this free course 
So please sign up there, it'll be awesome. And uh, yeah, we're just sending you lots and lots of love and we're gonna be doing a few more of these videos coming up in the yeah. future. So. And here's to the whole of humanity feeling more and more comfortable with expressing their truth. Yeah. With compassion, with love. Aho. Have fun.